questions um, for Mr. Sorensen. You write in your book, um, you oh, list. I'm glad you bought it. Look at that. <laughs> not just because it was important. <laughs> uh, you mention uh, JFK's three most important speeches and three most eloquent speeches. And um, I was intrigued by that because that kind of uh, premised this question that I had. And that is, um, especially with all of this talk on Obama, um, are the days of powerful and influential, uh, even invective, uh, oratory, are they over? Uh, well, thanks very much. Uh, unfortunately, there has been a de decline in uh, political and public oratory in, uh, since the days of uh, John F. Kennedy. In part, it's because we haven't had uh, speakers of his uh, broad range of interests and knowledge, especially who could quote history and poetry as uh, Kennedy did. Can you imagine George W. Bush quoting <laughs> history or poetry? But, uh, and also, I blame part of it on television. Television, now on 110 uh, uh, stations, uh, is uh, the primary means, uh, I think my fellow panelists agree, of uh, communication. And, and television is the cool tube. It's casual. It comes into the bedroom or the game room. People think that to talk like John F. Kennedy or Winston Churchill talked would be old fashioned. It would be outdated. And uh, as a result, we get uh, the uh, much more lowest common denominator approach to uh, political campaigns and oratory uh, that uh, we suffer with today. 